Tanjanika, your thoughts to what our caller had to say, as well as um, your perspective on where he kind of said, hey, how do we deal with these people issues? So how do we get more people training? What is the solution if, in a sense, controlling guns or getting less guns in the population isn't that? How do we tackle these human issues that Kevin and everybody's alluded to? Your thoughts, Queen? Um, yes, yeah, so I want to go back really quickly to the clip that was played with Killer Mike. I wanted to point out a little small part in that the, the gentleman that was introducing it and was talking about Killer Mike, he said, this is a word that rappers can't even pronounce. It was so condescending to me, and I, and I harp on this because I want people to understand this is not something where people encourage black people to Nice. on themselves. This is not something everyone is, you know, positive about this and promoting this. What they're saying is we just need more people with guns. And when when the time comes, if you don't have one, or even if you do, if you don't protect yourself, then they'll come in and take it through the well-armed militia, which is the regular people. So it's a two-edged sword in that you have to watch out for the government and you have to watch out for other people too because they don't care about your safety. They just care about the numbers and they care about the fact that they don't want this right taken away from them. And if it's taken away from, you know, you, then it could potentially be taken away from them. And that's all that matters. So with the gentleman, I thought that he had a great point. And, you know, crime is proximity. It, we really say black on black crime, but that's ridiculous because there's white on white crime, there's Asian on Asian. So it really is proximity and you can't help that. What you can do is train and arm yourself. And it starts with the individual in my eyes. I train, I make sure everyone around me trains. And if you're in a high power position and you have an entourage as the leader of said entourage, I believe it's your responsibility to make sure everyone around you is capable of, you know, of bearing arms, number one, and utilizing those arms when they do bear them. So um, there are people in, that were in the crowd that had firearms that absolutely had zero training, didn't know how to use them, and this is the casualty of that. So your ops could be internal. It could be, you know, someone that mm -hmm. is an accident, or it could be anyone. So you have to make sure that whoever is around you, do you train? You could be that person that's a liability for everyone in your group. So do you train, and do you make sure your friends train and everyone around you, especially if you know they're carrying a firearm? So this is a, a, a point that I'm making because I don't think guns are – the, the answer to get rid of them. That's never going to be my stance on it. What is my stance is getting training so that you know how to proficiently use it. And in a situation, that never being the first resort is always, you know what, you got it. I'm leaving. I'm walking away. I'm going home. I'm doing whatever I need to do to get out of this situation. And if I cannot do that, then I will defend myself to the highest extent and only after all other, you know, options have been exhausted. 